Hi guys, welcome back. As women get older, the topic of menopause may come to mind, but the painful and uncomfortable symptoms that come with it aren't something most women plan for. Joining me via Skype to discuss what women approaching 50 and beyond can expect is Dr. Mary Jane Minkin. She is a clinical professor of obstetrics and gynecology at the Yale School of Medicine. So, uh, doctor, tell me, what should women know about their sexual health and symptoms as they reach uh, menopause and postmenopause? What we tell women, and many women are really prepared for hot flashes or night sweats or all those other fun things that can accompany menopause, but those are some of the early things that happen with menopause. Fortunately, those do tend to get better over the course of time. Unfortunately, what can happen to many women is, and this goes, gets worse, unfortunately, over the course of time, that they can start experiencing vaginal dryness, which can become very uncomfortable and can just get worse over the course of time. That's the bad news. The good news is there's a lot of stuff that we can do for it. Okay, so what is postmenopausal vagina atrophy? Well, that's the fancy word for dryness in the uh, female genital area. And it can also affect the bladder, too. So it can really affect anything, you know, of, of women's, women's uh, parts down below. And again, it can get worse over the course of time. Women can experience pain. They can experience itching, dryness, burning, discomfort with intercourse, problems with urination. All those fabulous things can happen um, and unfortunately can get worse. But again, to emphasize, there's a lot of stuff that we can do to make it much much, much better. And the one thing that I would really like to emphasize to all folks, you know, watching the show is that don't hesitate to, um, I'm sorry, somebody's trying to come into the room here. Um, <laughs> that there, sorry about that. It's that okay. there, um, are many things that women can do for this. Um, and you, you really need to start the conversation with your healthcare provider because this is a topic many women are embarrassed to bring up with their healthcare provider. Sometimes the healthcare provider is embarrassed to bring it up to the women. So this can be a real problem. So what I always encourage women to do is to speak with their healthcare provider, say, hey, this is a problem that I'm experiencing. And Tell, tell me about things that we can do to get things better. Mm -hmm. are, there, are there certain treatments available to help with postmenopausal uh, symptoms? Absolutely. And indeed, there are over-the-counter remedies. Women can get moisturizers um, at their local pharmacies. But if those aren't sufficient, and for many women they are not, that there are all sorts of vaginal estrogen therapies. There are rings, there are creams, there are vaginal tablets, which are really quite safe for women to use, very easy to use, and can really bring significant relief to just about all the vaginal symptoms that women may be experiencing. So again, don't hesitate to, to bring these up. And again, we know that these can be very uncomfortable and embarrassing for women to talk about, but that don't be afraid to talk about it. And there's a wonderful website out there, talkchange.com, which is really to help women going through some of these symptoms, figure out how to speak with their providers, also to talk with their partners, because sometimes they're really embarrassed to even bring these things up to their partner. And these are things that need to be shared and, and again, cured, so that there are many things that we can do to help. So uh, what should women do uh, when they're experiencing these uh, postmenopausal symptoms? Well, what I would suggest is that they would like to try a vaginal moisturizer. It's certainly fine to go to the pharmacy and get some and try some on their own. But if those do not do the job sufficiently for the women, that they should not hesitate at all to speak with the healthcare provider, your gynecologist, your primary care doctor, your nurse midwife, and to say, listen, I've got these problems. I'm having discomfort. I'm having problems with intercourse. I'm having problems with pain or burning or itching. And let's get something to help get me better. And again, there are a lot of remedies, vaginal estrogens are quite safe and quite readily available ring form cream form vaginal tablet form lots of options out there and again I would encourage women to go to the website talkchange.com to really help get some advice on how to bring up some of these topics with their providers if they're feeling uncomfortable about doing so right so Dr. Minkin we have about 30 seconds left so I have the last question is what is what is having an open is it important to have an open dialogue with your OBGYN and tell me why it's important 
To me, that's the most important thing for a woman because we know these questions can be embarrassing. And don't be afraid to talk to your provider because she or he has heard all these things before and knows that you're suffering and will be happy to help you. But we just need to know that these are problems that you're experiencing. Don't hesitate to talk to your provider. And if you don't feel comfortable talking to your provider, then you need to find a new provider because going through menopause is a really important transition for women. Lots of stuff out there to help and no reason any woman should be really suffering. Wow. Dr. Minkin, thank you so much for your time. It, it's, it's great information that we want to get out there to our viewers. So, uh, you know, hope to see you soon and, and have a good one, okay? Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Geraldo. And again, women's go to talkchange.com. Great website. All right. Uh, coming up next, we, uh, still to come, summer is around the corner. And ahead, we're sharing some tips to get that beach body ready when Healthy Lifestyle returns in just a moment. See, I like how you do it, baby.